man, getting those leads for any digital marketing agency is pretty complicated. I myself run a link building SEO agency for SaaS companies and I know how tough this is. Anyway, so I figured it out and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use Sales Navigator to find your best target audience for your digital marketing agency that specializes on SaaS clients. And I'm going to show you exactly how to pinpoint those guys in here right on this video. My name is Artem and I also run a genuine social sellers community that I advise you to join if you completely hate sales and or your lead generation has been working out so far because B2B stuff is tricky. Yeah, you need to build a certain level of relationship before you start pitching your thing. It takes a while, okay? So if you hate sales and uh, don't understand how lead generation stuff actually works these days, I advise you to join the social sellers community where I help you to shift the focus away from trying to sell your thing to something that is more humane, which is actually connecting with the audience first, understanding where, who they are, where they come from, making these lasting connections because people buy from people they know and from people they like and trust. And trust is developed through these social connections. So if that sounds like something that you are interested in, go ahead, join the community. It's free, the link is in the description. And right now I'm going to shift back to LinkedIn and show you how it works with the sales navigator. How can you find those SaaS clients that you're dreaming of? Now, before I go into sales navigator, which is located right here, I want to give you some um, context for LinkedIn. So as of now, late July, 2023, LinkedIn allows you up to 800 connection requests on a monthly basis. This translates into approximately 200 connection requests on a weekly basis. And if you look at it with the 20, 25% acceptance rate, by the end of the month, you will probably have around 200 connection requests that actually have accepted. Yeah, so they will become your connection. So the numbers are pretty low if you look at it from this perspective. So you have to be very, very careful who you choose to connect with. You want to make your target audience as close to your best target to, to your best kind of client that you want to work with, you have to make it as close as possible. So that's why filtering out all those people that you don't want to be, have business with, it's so, so important on an early stage, okay? So let's just jump right into it. Sales Navigator is right here on LinkedIn. If you don't have a Sales Navigator, go ahead, get the thing, and it's, it will pay for itself in the first month, okay? So um, it's just that powerful. Um, you also have the 30 days free, okay? So, okay, now we're in the sales navigator. And again, I'm a digital agency that is looking for SaaS clients. So I'm going to go into the search box here, click enter. And I end up with the sales navigator, which is completely blank. Next thing I want to do, what I always do is I go to see all filters. because it's just like the way it all looks right now. So you can see, you can see there's a ton of different filters. Obviously, some of them are more important than the other ones, but we will get to them in the moment. First thing I want to start doing is actually, um, actually you can, you can start with the job, job title. So for digital marketing services, your best point of contact is probably director of marketing, marketing, marketing director, or maybe a CMO as well, chief marketing officer. So these are potentially your best um, points of contact. Okay. So then I want to pick a country. So for example, I only want to work with SaaS companies that are located in the U S and maybe the UK. Let's pick the UK as well. Okay. So I've got these two right now. So as you can see, I'm at 2 million plus results a ton. I have to filter this down a lot further. Now company headcount. I don't want self-employed people. Yeah. I mean, with all due respect, I'm not looking to work with self-employed people. I'm looking to work with SaaS companies that have some budget yeah, because I like to get paid. And obviously I want to be, want to work with those that are easiest to, um, to provide me with that payment. So I would suspect that I would probably be best better off with companies from anywhere from uh, 11 to 50 people and maybe one to 10. I mean, this can work sometimes. So, uh, but let's keep it 11 to 50 for now, okay? And I also want to, what I, right now we're at 240 already, pretty good, yeah? 
Now, what we do next is we actually go into the search keywords then, and I've, I've already got this search from sometime before, and I'm going to click on it and I'm going to explain you what this is once it loads. So there we go, it's loaded up and all my previous, uh, bummer. Anyway, all my previous settings rolled out, but it's okay, I remember them all. United States, company headcount 1150, uh, direct marketing, marketing director, and I want to have a CMO as well. Marketing officer, brilliant. Now, what the hell is this then? So this is what is called Boolean search, okay? Um, they actually have a guide on this then uh, within the LinkedIn. So it explains you, it basically there's a like search operator. So if you come from SEO background, you know exactly what these are. They basically tell LinkedIn that you only want to have, have profiles that have SaaS or software as a service or platform included in them. So any profile that includes any of these words, word combinations is welcome. And I'm also restricting anybody that talks about an agency. Yeah, because agency owners, agency employees that tend to use, they might have, uh, you know, if they're like, just like us, right? So if, doing, if they run this digital agency and um, the work with SaaS clients, they obviously mentioned that they run an agency so uh, and SaaS, so we want to filter these guys out. And now we're down, down to 9,000 results, which is a lot more, um, a lot, a lot better from, from when we started. Now I want to go through these guys a little bit manually, yeah, and see who they are. So I've got this Bartley Wilson guy, PPX uh, offers five different 360 cloud SaaS platforms, which which with powerful AI APIs. Okay, I mean he's got something going on there. Seems like a potential client from the first sight. Visibility software. I understand today's HR leaders carry heavy load. Da -da -da. Seems pretty good to me. Power X technology, complex systems, data is key for expert tower management to run a more resilient and efficient network. I don't know, maybe, maybe pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Software helps manufacturers, wholesalers, distributors, and sales agency simplify, unify, and boost, boost sales. I mean, yeah, all of these seem pretty good to me, you know, pretty, pretty good. However, you, we can further trim them down because 9,000 plus results is still quite a lot. One of the um, filters that I really like, it's in the spotlights, activities and shared experiences. So there's this one thing called posted on LinkedIn in 30 days. And it's great because it basically shows you any account that is active on LinkedIn, okay? So it doesn't mean that they're better, it's just the, their propensity to reply to you quicker is higher because they're active on LinkedIn, yeah? So again, visibility software, nothing's changed. This guy's still here. Zen Solutions LLC. I only accept connection requests from people I know. Okay, and that's cool. I help companies grow and thrive. Again, software guys, 3D Corporation, Revo Security, Reveal Security. Yeah, I mean, all of these seem pretty cool to me. Another cool thing, another cool filter that you can check out is the years and current position. Uh, the problem with this is that sometimes people actually do not um, provide these details. Yeah, but in this case, we can play with this. So we've got two and a half thousand people right now. We can make this a little bit more because we don't want to have deal with people who are like uh, less than one year in a company because, you know, their propensity to make decisions might not be as, as high, you know, so. Um, so we've cleared it up a little bit. So we've only got people now with more experience yeah, than uh, anybody, uh, anybody else. But again, sometimes it filters out too many people because people do not uh, put this information in there. So we can really know for sure. And um, we can also play with making sure all the profiles are in English. But in this case, it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, it still is the same number. So. There we have this, yeah? So there we have this list with potential SaaS clients that we can reach out to in the first two months, yeah? Because we have 2K, even two and a half months, because we will have 800 prospects uh, connection requests on a monthly basis. What you do next is you actually save the search. 
you go and um, you say um, you, you save the search here. Here's actually the button, yeah. And then you should use like some intelligent name like SAS. And then you say 1150. And then you say uh, marketing director, director, CMO. Yeah, so to show what is it all about, US and UK. And uh, yeah, you can say active in 30 days as well. Active in, I think it was 90 days. Yeah, so now that you, because then once you, you know, a few weeks later when you check this out, you'll be like, okay, that actually makes sense. You save, once you save the list, the cool thing about that is that LinkedIn continues um, populate it with uh, the prospects that co coincide with the filters that you provided earlier, yeah? So that's why it's really, really useful. Once you save it, you have this pipeline going and going and going, which is really great. Okay, that's pretty much it. Once you find this prospect, you go into the next step, but obviously this is not the not, not part of this tutorial. So I'll have another video loaded for you in the future. Okay, so take care. I hope this has been of value. And go ahead, join the Genuine Social Sellers Club. It's the best.